Faster bus service is coming to Raleigh. Regional rail is in the planning phases, and the DOT has its eyes on more than 20 major road projects. Right now, public transit is making a rebound post-pandemic. Post Tonight, WRO's Joe Fisher investigates how realistic is it to be carless in the triangle. We are putting the bus system to the test. Go Raleigh is free. All you do is walk on. Some riders say it's very convenient, but many others say the buses are too slow and often not on time. Constant congestion and constant construction are signs of the triangles constant growth. 64 people are moving here every single day. We cannot build more roads to get out of congestion. For Raleigh's mayor, the solution is expanding public transit. They need frequency and reliability. But right now, frequency is low with wait times from 15 minutes to one hour and reliability. Well, is the bus usually on time? No. No, it's not. It works great for me right now. If you had to get to work at a certain time, would you feel confident that you would get there? See, like, it's like right now, no. I would feel like I would be like an hour or maybe two hours late. The time is 6.25 a.m. and WREL producer Pritchard Strong is putting the system to the test. He needs to get his daughter to daycare and then get to work. From his home in North Raleigh, the closest bus stop is nearly two miles away. It was quicker to walk three miles straight to the daycare. Having to do this to and from work would be a huge task. The time is now 725. He waits 20 minutes at the bus stop for a 30 minute ride downtown. That's where he transfers to a second bus and arrives to work at 9 a.m. A two and a half hour journey that typically takes 45 minutes driving. It wasn't the the bus that was the part of the experience that I wouldn't want to repeat. It was getting to the bus without a car. Like many bus riders, WREL reporter Shelly Jackson doesn't own a car. I didn't have to worry about parking, about gas prices, about car payments. But she quickly learned reliability is spotty, even with apps to track the arrival of buses. Uh, there was a, supposed to be a bus, never showed up, and then they said it was going to come in 20 minutes, and then it actually came in 15 minutes, so it was not really reliable. The latest data shows Go Raleigh has an 84% on-time performance rate. Go Durham, 85%. Go Triangle, 83%. Go Carry, much better at 95%. It requires a lot of planning. Yeah, so I'm there sometimes an hour early or two hours early, but at least I'm early instead of late. Ridership is on the rebound, but fewer people are riding the bus now than before the pandemic. Go Raleigh ridership is up 18% and Go Durham is up 20% in the last year. But compared with 2019, Go Raleigh is still down 16% and Go Durham is down 14%. I wish they had like a 24 hour bus you know, like New York or something like that. By 2025, Raleigh will have its first bus rapid transit line on New Bern Avenue with service every 10 minutes. Three more BRT lines will be built over the next 12 years. Meanwhile, Go Triangle is exploring a 40 mile commuter rail line from Clayton to Durham. We have to be fully committed to regional rail. Advocates say faster, more reliable public transit will get people to ride instead of drive. But if you think that bus is coming every six to 10 minutes, you know that you don't have to wait for the bus to arrive. And the bus driver shortage is also impacting the frequency of these routes. Go Raleigh, Go Durham, and Go Triangle are looking to fill a combined 77 driver positions. I'm Joe Fisher, WREL News, Raleigh.